please welcome Adil and Pilal, Jerry Bruckheimer, and last but not least, for the first time together in Germany, please welcome the bad boys, Martin Lawrence and Will Smith. To be honest, what the fuck took you guys so long to get back together <laughs> and come to Germany and present this movie? Well, to Will's credit, he, he wouldn't do the movie until it was right. So he kept calling me saying, I think we got something, I think we got something. <laughs> then I wouldn't hear from him for about three months. And he said, I think we got something, I think we got something. Then I wouldn't hear from him for about six months. And it kept going on and on. And then finally, when they got the script right, he called me and said, I think we got it right. And now, now we're here. And this was like our baby. Like this was the movie that really launched both of us. And it just, it, it had to be right. It had to be a movie that um, was worthy of coming back to it by itself. Not just, hey, wouldn't it be cool to make a, a third one? And, you know, and I wanted to, to do something that was great. And I wanted to take a shot at making the best of the three movies. Oh. Defy nature. Yeah. Well, exercise. Ex yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know, but uh, yeah, you know, I just feel like um, I'm I'm feeling all of my 50 years old. I feel all all of 54. <laughs> <laughs> you know, for for uh, for us, there was like when you know we came into this movie and. I was like, I'm doing all my stunts. You know, I don't need no stunt man, just whatever it is. Tom Cruise can do all his stunts. I can do all my stunts. And we got, we, we, we had about three days of that. We had about three days and uh, we, 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 we had a scene. Uh, <laughs> calling the subs. Calling the subs. I was like, hey, uh, hey yo, you think we should use our stunt man for this one? <laughs> and it was, you know, it was really, it was, it was really uh, a, a lot tougher than I imagined. It's a, it's a whole lot easier doing a fight scene and trying to fall out of a window and all of that kind of stuff at 25 than it, than it is at, at 50. Thank, thank God for special effects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, it was funny, in, in, the, uh, in, the, in the first movie, I almost killed Martin. In the, in the car on the, on the first movie. Almost we almost lost it. <laughs> yeah, in, the, in, the, in this one, we, you know, we were a little, little, it was a little bit more safer. Yes. There was a, the motorcycle, I think, was the one in this movie, more than the car stuff. It was the motorcycle stuff where there were, there were you know, there were a couple of little tricky moments on, on, the, on the motorcycle. But, uh, but the, these guys are very safe. Safety, safety is really, really critical and really... Uh, really important. And uh, we wanted this movie to be an homage to those action, action movies of the 90s, uh, the Michael Bay movies, also the Tony Scott movies to a certain extent. And that flavor, it's, it's something that's super cool and that we have not seen in a long time. You see a lot of superhero movies of very extravagant stuff, but stuff that is really grounded and, and close to the characters. That, that is something that's fresh again. That you guys are also gonna make another huge Jerry Bruckheimer movie, which is Beverly Hills Cop 4, is that right? Well, you, you, uh, they must uh, the boss frage. <laughs> <laughs> are they going to make it? Mm -hmm. We want them to. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. okay. Yes! Uh, we we yeah, ready, so. we ready, you know. So yeah. This is stated right now, <laughs> yeah. okay. The, the pressure is unbelievable, that's, that's one thing. But yeah, we had stress from day one. Yeah. <laughs> we're just uh, we're just two punks from uh, I was Belgian, <laughs> so we're not the, we're not the big stars like them, and they made those movies. So so it was uh, it was really a challenge, uh, but at the same time they chose us for a reason, and and we bring something to the table. We're also fans of those movies, so we we were the luckiest fanboys ever to be able to to work with them and to make that movie. And also you got. The, them three that are so experienced that that are they are really filmmakers. So we have them with us on the team just made us very comfortable and, and confident that that we could uh, you know all together make this movie on the same level as the the first ones. When when Adil and Bilal came in, that was something that uh, Jerry and I talked about really early. It's just how the the perspective shift you know. Um, 
Belgium by, by way of Morocco, you know? <laughs> and, and they were like nine or 10 years old, you know, when the, when the first movies came out. So it was, it was such a beautiful breath of, of fresh air to see the, the, the franchise from different eyes. So they were able to, to handle the, uh, you know, paying, paying homage to the originals, but also to come from a completely new, completely unique perspective. In their words, take it to another level. Take it to another level, <laughs> yeah. there you go. I think from my perspective, the fact that their movie was so met, well made and the performances were so good. And when you put Martin and Will together and you turn a camera on, it's magic no matter what. So I knew they would be fantastic, but also, they're such, they were such fans yeah. of, the, of these types of movies, and they grew up on them. And we felt that they would bring something really special because they come from a whole, as Will said, a whole different mindset coming from, from Europe. So they see things totally differently than an American director would. And for us, we were thrilled with, with the outcome. They did an amazing job. Working with Michael Bay and these directors, they don't yell as much. Yes, right, exactly. <laughs> yes. Yes, no one ever said to us, you see that fucking big orange thing? You see that big orange thing? When that goes down, you're screwed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but but it, it was a joy working with these guys, man. Yeah. They show love every day. They showed everybody the same kind of affection and just yeah. attention. It, it was just beautiful to be on the set and, and the environment they made real comfortable for us. Yeah, and it was really great. It's like, it's like um, you know, we, you have two parents that have really unique points of view. And if you want to go out on the weekend and you know which parent to ask, right? So, <laughs> so That's how you, you just did kinda, it. Yeah, yeah, you just kind of figured out. You're like, oh, okay, you know, you know, Bilal kind of likes it bigger and more exciting. And, you know, Adil is always saying, no, 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 no. So you say, hey, Bilal, I got this idea, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, you know, you just figure out which parent is you were playing like, us. You know, which parent is gonna like the idea you have. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, <laughs> uh, that they're honest. Mm -hmm. That they're honest to each other. Yeah. They're real to each other, and um, they would do anything for each other. That's yeah. what I love about them. Yeah, that's really at the center of of Bad Boys. Is you know that idea: we ride together, we die together. It, it is it's like perfect friendship and it doesn't it doesn't have to be gentle and you know it doesn't have to be calm it doesn't have to be sweet but what it is is rock solid we ride together we die together bad boys for life and i think that as humans everybody is seeking that kind of friendship everybody is seeking that kind of relationship somebody who sees your life as valuable as their own life and even more valuable sometimes. Well, I think that we always approach, even though it's a sequel, we assume that the audience hasn't seen the first two. So we right away have to layer the characters based on the first two. So right away, we give you information that you already heard in the first or seen in the first two movies. That's really important to us. So this is a standalone film, whether you've seen Bad Boys 1 or 2. I feel like the the uh, I Am Legend series, even though like there was two endings, there was a there was the DVD uh, ending where my character lived, and then in the theatrical he died. So it's hard to make a sequel when he dies. Um, <laughs> we've done it. We've done it. I know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I felt I felt that that was the one the one series. Uh, uh, that I felt like there was a whole lot more I wanted to do around that. And uh, Hancock, I felt like Hancock was on, mm. there's a whole world of others and things in, in, uh, in Hancock that I felt was, was uh, uh, a lot of meat left on the bone. <clears throat> Fun. And Bad Boys 4. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, and Bad Boys. Sorry, sorry, yeah, yeah. sorry. He's looking at me like uh, yeah. <laughs> We're looking at you. Oh, yeah, sorry. And Bad Boys. Sorry. I think Bad no, Boys what up? as a series is really incomplete and needs more films. <laughs> sorry, I did it. It's okay. <laughs> Best that's thing probably. about the the nineties, the music, the mute. That, now that's true. Yeah, yeah. The, the music. music was crazy, and that's another thing you guys did a really good job with. It's like the current music 
in 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 bad boys but still keeping that flavor and grabbing the artists that understand that time and understand that flavor to keep it modern but not to feel totally out of out of place in the in the in the flavor of the the like the old bad school boys. and new school that old school yeah. new school yeah. fusion well for me it i, I just uh, had to be ready when the, when they call you got to be ready and uh will call so I, I was a little nervous. I didn't know if our chemistry was going to be the same after all those years. And uh, once we got on set and we did the first scene, it was like magic. It was like yeah. we never left. It was like riding a bike, yeah. you know. And, and we want the best, so we both just went for it. It's it, it's fun sparring with Will. It's like mm -hmm. a like two boxers that that yeah. are sparring each other, mm -hmm. and we just have good sparring matches. Yeah, I think we we have great chemistry in being able to go back and forth and balance the scenes. Um, when in in the first movie, um, we were both coming off of our TV shows, and we were both a, you know, well known as comedians. And so when when there's two comedians in the scene, somebody has to surrender the joke to the to the other. Or it just it, it gets to be too much, and you know I was terrified when we were working, and I was Mike telling Michael, I was like Martin's getting all the freaking jokes, you know, <laughs> <laughs> and Michael was like, dude, relax, you know, just balance the scene, just balance the scene, you know, and I was like, no, I'm funny too. <laughs> You know, but you know, in those moments, I, you know, I learned a really a lot about balancing the, those scenes. And and in this movie, I think that our chemistry is even better than than it's ever been. It's like the tuning of the drama and the comedy is is really uh, spectacular. I love I love working with 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 Martin because of that. You know, I, I love being able to stand in a scene next to him, it takes so much pressure off because I know as soon as the ball gets anywhere near him, he's hitting it out of the park, you know? <laughs> so it's like you go into the scene and knowing you already won. Yeah. The last question. I, I'm funny the... too, though. I'm funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, we do a TV series <laughs> exactly. called uh, LA's Finest, which uh, takes takes off on on these two characters and they're, and they're both women. So we. We've brought it to television and streaming. Okay. It hasn't been syndicated yet, too. No, it hasn't yeah, made it, it here yet, but yeah. I'm sure it will. <laughs> Thank you so much, Adil, Martin, Will, Jerry, and Bilal, and have a great premiere tonight, and all the very best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.